Good Saturday evening, mid-Missouri. We're going to start here with something that's already dated by the time you watch this. We're recording this just before 5 p.m., but it sets the stage for what we have coming the rest of the weekend, kind of help explain that. We've got a big low off towards the east. That took our severe weather away. Today we're dry, so we're seeing our all of our real activity kind of moving away, but we are watching this, this low pressure off towards southern Kansas. You see this brown line stretching north to more severe weather up near Omaha. That's a trough of low pressure. So kind of a, it, think of this whole thing as a big cold front, because essentially what it's going to do is it's going to pass through tomorrow, bring us a chance for storms, and bring us a cool down. Now, tomorrow we may not see much of, well, thunderstorm action or a cool down. That's going to be very complex in how it plays out because we still have a lot of dry time and we're seeing temperatures in the 80s. Behind this is where we see the cool down and we might see storms along that cold front depending on how tomorrow plays out. Let me show you what I'm talking about. We've got a dry, Dry evening here ahead of us, here Saturday night. Uh, temperatures in the 80s, even with a slight breeze out of the northwest, and that has really kind of kept us cool. Take a look at temperatures near Warsaw and to the south and west, you've got 90s and then some off towards the south and the west of Warsaw. So this northwest flow behind yesterday's storms is actually helping us out a little bit, keeping us on the cool side. Clouds have kind of helped out with that as well. But as we walk towards Saturday night, into Sunday morning, we're watching that cold front get a bit closer. This is where we've got likely some clouds and a chance for some showers and storms. Future track doesn't get too excited with activity moving in from the overnight hours. Some of those storms will be ongoing late tonight on the other side of Kansas City. If they can hold together, they'll arrive and bring us a chance for rain around sunrise. This run of future track doesn't look that excited about that, and that's a trend we've been seeing here lately. So what you should, I think, plan on for Sunday morning is the chance for rain. You may keep the umbrella handy. Know where it is tonight before you wake up and got to wake up early for church tomorrow. If you're headed out, uh, keep that in mind. What we're more concerned with is this cold front as it moves into the afternoon. So it's overhead throughout the day, and that could bring us chances for lingering showers in the morning. But once we get to the afternoon and evening, we're watching for storms to develop. But we may have some issue developing them near Columbia and Jefferson City because, well, the environment from the morning showers, cloud cover, that's kind of remnant from what moved in from the west, well, that kind of leaves us capped and doesn't allow us to access some of the better energy in the atmosphere until later in the evening. And this is where we kind of get into more of a more of a maybe, maybe not situation because it's really going to focus on our western, or excuse me, our easternmost counties, Vandalia, Montgomery City, Herman. Watch what happens here as that uh, front pushes away along and maybe behind that we may see storms start to fire up and this is where we could see some strong storms. This is where we'll have, if they can develop storms, we'll have strong storms. That may include Montgomery City, Herman, and Owensville, but you can tell most of us are going to miss out on this. It's a very close call and for that reason we're not going to issue an ABC 17 Storm Track Weather Alert Day unless we get some big change in the, in the data here coming soon, but right now it looks like this is going to be a near miss just to our east. Certainly if you're going to St. Louis this weekend, maybe Sunday night you got plans in St. Louis, keep the forecast in mind. And I'm not saying it's an all clear here in mid-Missouri. We still have a chance for thunderstorms, uh, but because of the way that system sets up as it passes by, it looks like the severe threat kind of jumps from to our west to to our east. And so we might get bunny hopped by all of this. And uh, so that's good news for us, at least in terms of severe weather. We've had our fair share of that here recently. A cool down looks like it's on the way behind this. Take a look at these northwest winds that kind of roll on in. My concern with this is that, well, Monday could end up mostly cloudy, at least for the first half of Monday. Take a look at these clouds that are showing up, and we might have a little bit of drizzle, a few sprinkles with that as well, um, but that may keep us under cloud cover for much of Monday, uh, maybe Monday morning into early Monday afternoon. If we can get some drier air to kind of mix in there, we might see some partly cloudy skies. But overall, Monday is looking a bit cloudier, and we're also looking at cooler temperatures in the low 80s. As we head into Tuesday, Tuesday we'll have a slight chance for rain Tuesday night into Wednesday, but Wednesday right now is looking like our next best chance for thunderstorms. We'll keep an eye on midweek for a chance for maybe a strong storm or two. Otherwise, we spend uh, the first half of the week in the low 80s, and we'll be back in the upper 80s by Friday.